Okay, on to other things. We will meet here in the cafeteria every day after school, and then we'll ride to wherever we're going that day. Wherever we're going, don't we go to a golf course? Yes, some of the time. We practice at a farm too. A farm? You'll see. Okay, there's a new coaching rule that's starting this year. So it used to be that a coach could only speak to the players between holes. But now a coach can talk to a golfer at the tee after she's hit her tee shot and at the green before she takes her first putt. Now, a coach still can't talk to a player while she's on the fairway or taking approaching shots. Understand? Yes. That's a pretty significant change. Okay, another rule is that for the state tournament, one teammate who is done playing can walk with another teammate who is still playing for the last two holes. So in our case, if Emily is in the final twosome and Madison or Hannah are done playing, one of you could walk with her and talk to her between shots. Why did they do that? You know, I'm not quite sure because I'm not on the rules committee, but we now have that option. There's also a new scoring rule this year. So each girl will keep her own scorecard plus the opponent she is paired up with. A girl will write down her score and the girl she is playing against. She must mark it correctly and sign it at the end of the match. If the scores don't line up, whoever made the mistake is disqualified. Does everybody understand that? Yes. A man lost the Masters once because he signed a card with the wrong score. He would have tied and forced a playoff. Wait, a pro in the Masters golf tournament? Yep. What an idiot. I wouldn't have wanted to win like that. I would have said, fix the card and let's have the playoff. Me too. I wouldn't have. You'd want to win a tournament because somebody wrote down the wrong score? Sure. Even if you knew you didn't really win it? <sighs> rules are rules and stupid is stupid.